This is an NVR. That's an NVR. This is an NVR. That's definitely an NVR. And that's kind of an NVR. If you use any equipment in your workshop where you latch the power on, so things like a router in a router table, a jigsaw in a jigsaw table, and by a latching power switch, I mean where you can switch the power on and latch the power on like that. You couldn't actually hear what I was saying there. Where you switch it on and you can latch it on and make it stay on. Especially on a router, which will typically just have like a rocker on off switch. Like that. If you use anything like that in your workshop, you should really think about using an NVR. And I'm going to explain what one is, why you should really think about having one, and why it's not just a big red off button. Welcome back to Goff with Handyman. As you may or may not be aware, if you've watched some of the older videos that I've done, I've been making this new router table for a little while, and one of the things that I really wanted to do was to build an NVR controlled power strip into my assembly table. Mainly for the router table, but also for anything else that I might be using that has latching power. So things like my jigsaw table when I'm using that. Maybe even if you're just using a, a sander clamped in a vise, you know. There's various situations where you might be using a machine that is designed to switch itself off when you let go of it but for whatever reason, you might want to latch that power on so you can use it with two free hands. NVR stands for No Voltage Release, and it's not just a big red off button. They happen to take the form, normally, of big red off buttons, but that's not really what they're about. An NVR, No Voltage Release, is all about its default power state as soon as you kill the power to it and its default power state is off. Now that might seem obvious, that if you've not got power running to a switch, that it would be off. The point is, is that when you switch the power back onto that switch, the default state of it is still off. So if your power gets interrupted to your workshop for whatever reason, whether it's a trip switch has blown, or there's been a power cut, or someone's tripped over a power cable, or whatever, everything with an NVR on it will turn itself off, and it won't turn itself back on until you press that green button. That's not like this sort of switch on a router, where it's literally a toggle on off switch. If the, pow if the power goes off to the workshop, I'm just gonna switch the power off, and that's left in the on position, as soon as the power comes back on to your workshop, your machine comes back on. And I would certainly advise having NVRs connected to any machine that's vaguely dangerous that you're going to use in a latched on position. And why do you need that, you may ask? Well, especially in situations where there's more than one of you using a workshop. But even if it's not, even if it's just yourself, imagine a situation where You've got your router table all set up. You're in the middle of using your router table and then the power goes off, like a trip switch blows or a trip goes in another room or, or something like that. So you're about to go and reset the trip switch and then your phone goes and you pick up the phone, you're chatting away to your mate, you arrange to meet your mate for lunch. So you go off, have some bait, come back. In the meantime, your friend who you work with has come into the workshop, noticed that the router table is all set up and ready to use. He thinks, oh, I'll just route this thing quickly. I just need to change the bit in it. So he's got his hands wrapped around a big panel molding bit in the router. You come back from your lunch. You think, oh, I forgot to switch that trip switch back on. You go off to the trip switch cupboard. You switch the trip on. So your friend's been mangled up in a router by a giant panel cutter. It's made a mess. It's gonna take hours to clean up. And he's got no hands. So in all seriousness, if you've got a small workshop, you should really think about having these on every piece of equipment that's dangerous and can be latched on. So the one I'm using cost about 15 quid off Amazon. You can buy them ready-made with a box, mounting box on and an outlet on them. I'm making my own because I want one with a power strip connected to it, or a four gang as we call it in the UK. And I'm also making my own because I'm tight. So I built a little housing for the unit out of MDF 
Just 12mm MDF scrap that I had lying around. I used mitered edges and I put a little dado in to support some 6mm backing board that's going to hold the switch itself. It's all glued and brad nailed together. The glue's dried, I've put some filler in the nail holes and whatnot, and we're going to pick it up from there. If you like this sort of stuff, don't forget to hit subscribe. If you don't like this sort of stuff, I'm amazed you've made it this far through the video, to be honest. You really got to make sure your time code, you, well, the time code, you just got to make sure the time of day is set correctly.